all right hello so welcome to my book vlog i'm very excited to be reading atomic habits by james clear and document it because um if you don't know this is a non-fiction book basically about building habits and i would like to implement some new habits because it's summer and think about some ways I can bring those habits into the school year next year. The basic premise of it is to talk about tiny changes and how those can affect you in big ways um, and give you some like insight into building habits that last. I'm just really excited to learn a lot from it. I plan on taking some notes while reading this book um, and yeah. reading the first couple chapters of Atomic Habits and I wanted to share a couple of things that I learned. So far we've been talking about a couple different case studies of using like small 1% changes every single day and growing from those changes and how those 1% changes you might think like does that really matter but the more you do them the more they matter so. And we also learned about how a lot of people um, change their habits from doing outside steps first and then going internally to their identity but really we should maybe try to think about changing your identity first and then branching out to see how you change from there. about 90 pages through Atomic Habits and for some reason I wasn't annotating the book before but I recently started annotating it and I plan on going back and making some notes of the stuff that I found helpful. So far I haven't implemented any of the strategies that he's recommended yet. I basically have to fill out a card um, saying if my habits that I do every day are good or bad or neutral and once I do that I can learn to habit stack which is where you put a new habit with a old habit and they sort of work together and help each other out so yeah so far I'm enjoying it and I'm excited to read more
finally finished reading Atomic Habits and I felt like it was a really good book, really insightful. I think it made some points that could have been construed as just common sense, but the way he put the language to it really helped make a guide for someone who is trying to fix their habits and implement new habits or break old habits. I think that I can apply it to my life pretty well. At the end I made a notes sheet which summarized everything he said in the chapters and stuff so I can give myself sort of an outline from the book which I think will be helpful for me. I've started implementing some things he suggested and using some quotes that he wrote. I put them on my notion to give myself a little motivation. I'm trying to implement some strategies he supplied. For example, I'm trying to read more and so I'm trying to read just five pages every day starting really really easy because it's more important to show up for yourself and show up for those five pages every single day so you can build consistency before you can branch out and read like 20 pages every day. I really enjoyed the case studies he started every chapter with about successful people or successful groups and I would definitely reread this again. So thank you for watching!